My two oldest brothers were overseas when the war started. My oldest brother was in Australia, the tail gunner of a bomber, the heaviest bomber we had, B-24. And he flew 49 missions. And at that point in time, when they completed the 50th missions, they would give him a furlough. But he was shot down over the Pacific uh, on his 49th mission. My uh, second oldest brother was in the Philippines when uh, the war started. And he was in Clark Field the second day, the day after Pearl Harbor, Clark, uh, the field in the Philippines where he was, and it was Clark Field, was bombed. He was taken a prisoner. And he remained a, a prisoner for nearly four years through all the difficult treatment that the Japanese could conjure up. And then near the end of the war, the Japanese government was trying to move all those prisoners that were still surviving into the Japanese mainland. And they had him loaded on a ship in a hole of that ship for 10 days very, very little food, no sanitation, and terribly crowded in a hot, hot steel ship. And it was not marked as a prisoner of war ship, and the government was attempted to move them after 10 days in harbor like that to Japan. And one of our destroyers saw the ship loaded with troops, unmarked, and it was sunk. And out of 1,256 people on there, two finally survived. And here my parents at home, still trusting the Lord, not showing much uh, anxiety, though I know their hearts were so heavy, and then uh, ultimately notified uh, the death of these two. Part of the reason I'm proud to be an American is uh, I grew up uh, very poor as a lot of people did and with uh, parents who had hard times finding jobs and so forth and but the, the country was the thing that we held on to. Thank God I'm an American and I just uh, I can't conceive of myself as anything else. What it means to be an American is Well, it's like, what does it feel like to be a Christian? It's a wonderful feeling. It's the best country in the world. I, I said, when I was going overseas and everything, I, I wanted to look around and see if there was any place I wanted to move to, and I never did find one of them. I'm so fortunate to be able to live in a country where you have freedom of, of religion, you have, really have a freedom of your thoughts. You can be against the government 100%, but you're still a part of it. Well, it's the greatest privilege that could ever come to a human being. Our country is the greatest, and our liberty is very, very precious. And if I were called upon, I'd do it all over again. Some people ask me if, if you would do what you did during World War II, would you if you had to do it again, would you do it? I would do it and probably do it even better. I would do it again to serve my country for my freedom and your freedom and enjoy life. And I would do it again tomorrow. Please welcome these American heroes to the platform this evening.